Say goodbye to boring, flimsy masks that make you look like you're in a hospital movie. Okay, let's test this out. Please excuse my eyes. I did not get very much sleep last night. I was traveling. All right, so the default position is for it to be open. And then we can just uh, cycle it. Pretty good fit, although I don't think it's necessarily quite consistent enough. I've now connected it to my smartwatch by the Bluetooth. So when I want to drink, the Bowmaster 2000 automatically opens. When the button is pressed to open the mask, the Arduino detects the signal and then sends a signal to the servo, which loosens the string and opens the mask. Then, when the button is pressed again to close the mask, the Arduino once again detects the signal and sends a signal to the servo to pull the string tight, which in turn pulls the arms that pull the mask up. My first auto mask was not pretty, but it was a valid proof of concept. When I pushed the button, the mask would open and close like it should. However, it did have some significant problems. First of all, it was way too loose and unstable, which, combined with the lack of torque from the servo motor, meant that it would not close tight enough. It was also bulky and ugly, as you can see, so a release version would need some visual refinements as well. I had hoped that the next revision would address some of these issues, but it did not. My tolerances were way too tight, so the internal parts didn't quite fit. I also created a bit of a catch-22 when it came to installing the servo motor. The string guides were all on the bottom, but the servo attached to the top. In order to attach the two, the case had to be closed, but if I wanted it to work after I closed the case, the servo motor had to be attached beforehand. I finally got it working on the third revision. The mechanical operation was sound, it fit nicely, it closed properly, everything just worked. That doesn't mean that the third version was perfect, however. It was still fairly bulky, and the internal battery made it too heavy on my ears. Thankfully this version worked well enough that it would only take a few small tweaks, like making the battery external, to make it a decently production-ready version, and I did wear this one to class a few times without any major issues. The fourth version was mechanically on par with the third, but it was the first version that was decently comfortable to wear for long periods of time. Making the battery external helped a lot in that regard, I think this will be the last major redesign for a while, but I am still making small tweaks, mostly to make it even more comfortable at this point. 